Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. You might be surprised to learn that I get asked at least once a week how to install Steam on Ubuntu. It doesn't surprise me at all though, since if you look at my metrics, something like 50% of my viewership are Windows users. So there's good reason for people to be asking me this question, since installing software on a Linux-based OS is quite different from Windows. If you're coming from the Windows world, you might be used to opening up your browser and downloading an application, usually in EXE, and then double-clicking its icon and hastily fondling the next button until your software is installed. On Linux, while you can sometimes find a package from the web, it's generally considered best practice to get your software from your distribution's repository. I know I can hear some of you guys' eyes glazing over with these technical terms, just hear me out. You see, your Linux distro comes with a list of software that's available to install. This list is usually maintained by the people who created your distribution, and it's often tested and proven to work with your distro. This is called a repository, or a repo for short. On Ubuntu, you can browse the official repo from the Ubuntu software app. Alternatively, you can use the terminal and feel cool, like you're some kind of hacker or something. I apologize, that was, that was awful. <laughs> So installing Steam is super easy. First, open a terminal. I know some people will give me crap and say that the terminal isn't easy to use. I assure you that the terminal is a much easier way of telling your computer what you want it to do. For example, sudo apt install steam. You're telling the computer you want administrative privileges to use the package manager to install steam. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? All right, type in your password. It won't look like you're typing, just type it and hit enter. At this screen, you'll want to press the right key and then press enter. Now go ahead and determine if you want to accept or reject the Steam user agreement. Wait for a moment, and if all went well, you should have Steam installed. You may, however, see this error. Go ahead and type in sudo add-apt-repository space multiverse. Pause this video and see if you can figure out what this command does. And I'll give you a hint. Multiverse is a special repository with applications like Steam and some other software. Sometimes it's not enabled, so what you're doing here is you're adding this new repository to the system. You should see this message, and if you don't, make sure you typed it in correctly and spelled everything right. Then you just want to ensure that the system sees the new repository we just added, so go ahead and type sudo apt update. Finally, you can type in sudo apt install steam. If you're lazy, just press the up key until the correct command shows up. As a side note, I ran into this error while trying to install Steam for this video. If you see this error, run the command again and it should work. Wow, that was pretty simple, huh? I mean, even if we're having errors, it's still easier than some other ways of installing software. But now you've got Steam installed, so sign in or make an account if you don't have one, and have fun. And if you don't know how to use Steam from here, that's on you. <laughs> But hey, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell down there to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. You can also support this series on Patreon with a monthly contribution. If you have a question, leave it in the comments or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. And as always, thank you so much for watching.